And when I was an undergrad at Northwestern, um, there was definitely a part of my cultural identity that I shied away from, that I was, I was very distanced from, and that was the Indian part of me. I'm, uh, my parents are from India, and there was, I'm of South Asian descent, you know, and there was, there was part of me that kind of turned that off while I was in college. I was a theater major, and I remember within the first couple weeks of school, there was a, uh, a South Asian Students Alliance. Do you guys have like a South Asian students group on campus, or uh, like an international students group? You do, yeah. So, so they have, yeah, awesome. Yeah, oh, a brown person, yeah. <laughs> so, we, yeah, we had in Northwestern, they had this thing called uh, South Asian Students Alliance, which un unfortunately um, is Sasa. Uh, they had Sasa. And it was the first couple weeks of school, and I was like, I'm going to go meet all the other Indian kids on, on campus. And, and so I, like, you know, uh, left the theater part of the theater wing of campus and went to the Sasa mixer and uh, I got there fashionably late, fashionably late. There was, you know, there were conversations were already happening and I remember there was like a group of kids that looked not super threatening so I moseyed on over and I inserted myself into their conversation and they were already talking. They were talking about the first couple weeks of school and one of the guys was like, oh man, this, that biochem class is going to be so hard. And you know, the other kid was like, yeah, my teacher said we had to go out and get a CD to learn how to forecast stock projections for econometrics. And then it was like that moment in a movie where everybody turned to look at me, like all the heads turned to look at me, and they were like, what's your first week of school been like? You know? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's been really, really hard. Um, this morning, I had to put on a unitard and go to movement class. And then in voice class, Scott had vocal tension, so I had to give him a back rub. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, theater majors out there, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, so I didn't really fit in, to say the least. So I got my theater degree, and then I, I, shoot, there's a couple of cool theaters in Chicago. There's uh, the Goodman theaters out there, and the Court theaters out there, and I got some I got some good theater credits under my belt. And so I was like, I know everything, and I decided to move to LA with my theater degree under one hand and my theater credits on the other hand. And and when I got to LA, suddenly this thing that I'd spent you know like the last four years of my life denying about myself, the fact that I was not white, that I was brown. Uh, became the only thing that people saw in me. And, and I, I tell these stories and I feel like people don't believe me, but honestly, I would go, and I'm, I brought some video clips to prove it to you, but I would go to like a casting session and meet a casting director and they'd be like, oh, you're, you're brown, that's awesome. We never have anyone to play the Indian part. Um, <laughs> yeah. Can you do the accent? And I'd be like, uh, yes, I can, I can do the accent. And they'd be like, uh, can you turn that up a bit? And I'd be like, <clears throat> yes, I can do the accent. <laughs> and then they'd be like, oh, oh, that's, that's really good. Could you make your eyes a little bit bigger? <laughs> so now we're at a, yes, I can do the accent. <laughs> oh, man, could you just do that little, could you do that little head waggle thing you guys do? <laughs> and I'd be like, Oh yes, I can do the accent. <laughs> and it was awful, I hated it. It was terrible, but this is what they saw in me.